Hi, and welcome to the HomeKit Show. This week, we're going to talk about Abode and their entry into the UK market, Onvis and their UK and European launch, and also Akara and their launch into Hong Kong, and what this means for UK users. Hi, welcome back, and my name's John. And if you're new around here, this channel is dedicated to everything HomeKit news, reviews, and tutorials. So if you are into HomeKit or you just got started in HomeKit, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Also, don't forget to check out homekitauthority.com and also our social channels at Follow HomeKit on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Now, first up is Onvis. Now, Onvis launched their C3 HomeKit camera a couple of weeks ago, and they've launched it in the US via their website, but last week they also launched it on Amazon. Now, the camera has now been made available in the UK and across Europe. That includes Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. Now, the camera itself has got a 1080p lens with a 30 frames per second. It's also got night vision up to five meters and has got a 130 field of view. You can also store locally to an SD card and access them through their Onvis's own app. In addition, the camera supports two-way audio and it works via Wi-Fi on the 2.4 and the five gigahertz network. This will be certainly interesting for people that have already got a crowded network and want to utilize either one of the bands. Now, one of the features of this camera, it works with HomeKit, but it also works with HomeKit Secure Video out of the box. If you're not familiar with HomeKit Secure Video, what this effectively means is that the camera will record and save all your footage in iCloud. So if you're running an iCloud account, which is more than 200 gig, then this camera will be supported and it will give you 10 days of save footage at no extra cost included in the plan. Also, when you're using it with HomeKit Secure Video, it detects people, vehicles, animals, and other motion as part of the HomeKit setup. So it's really good that this camera works with HomeKit Secure Video right out of the box. Now, this camera is available for $89.99, and that's both in euros and pounds, and it's available on Amazon with next day delivery in most countries. Now, if you're a US viewer, it's also already available in the US, and there is links in the description below. Now, we are waiting for our review view unit to come through and once we've done our normal full testing of it we will post a review on the camera and now you might want to hold off but if you don't want to there is links in the description below to purchase this camera next up is akara and their hub which has been launched in hong kong and macau now you're probably thinking well if i'm not from hong kong or the other location then what does this mean to me the important thing here is for uk users or any user that uses the type g plug that people are particularly in the uk have been longing for their car hub to become available rather than to purchase a chinese version and use a converter plug now people that have been watching this channel for some time now would already know i've got the uk version of the akara hub and i have been testing it now akara have said that they are going to be launching the akara hub and other products later on this year into the uk now they're still not confirmed a date but i suspect covid19 and other impacts have delayed the launch however the really good news is they've launched into hong kong and Mukai. so this shows that this product is in mass production now for those of you not aware it's a home kit hub that connects various different child devices such as motion sensors leak sensors and exposes them to home kit now the really good thing about akara products not only are they affordable they're also pretty good i've got a number of akara products in my home that i purchased myself and they work really well especially the motion sensors which can be picked up for about 15 pound or about 18 dollars these work really well and as long as you've got an akara hub they're exposed to home kit now you can as well pick up other akara devices such the g2h and these again will act as a hub but this is really good news that the hub is now available in other regions and available in the apple store which is really good for this brand so if you want to go and pick one up you can go into the apple store and pick this device up or you can have it shipped to your home so if you do know someone in hong kong or machu then you can have this shipped over to the uk or any other country that uses the type g and use this product now obviously keep your eyes peeled for the uk launch it's certainly very close now and once i get the information from akara i will be pushing that information out now next up is abode and their security products 
Now they've announced this week they are launching in the UK. So it's available for pre-order this month and it will be starting to ship in September. Now this launch is in partnership with Kings Secure Technology, one of the largest fire and security companies in the UK. Uh, from what I understand from this partnership is it will be the abode product that will come to market and Kings Secure Technologies will provide the monitoring service along with the distribution channels. So basically Bode have got two kits. One is the IOTA security kit, which has got a built-in camera and also the smart security kit. What these kits effectively are is DIY home security products, which have got built-in sirens, which act as a burglar alarm in the traditional sense with various different sensors like motion sensors, door sensors and window break sensors. Now the really interesting thing about this product, it's a DIY solution so you don't need any professional insulation and you can put this together yourself. Now it connects to your home network by Wi-Fi, however you can connect up to 160 devices but the interesting thing is you can connect other manufacturer's devices such as Philips Hue, Danalog and other brands. Now I just want to point out that if you are connecting something like Philips Hue, this will not expose those to HomeKit so you still need the Philips Hue gateway in order to connect them to HomeKit. Now in addition to working with HomeKit, it also works with Google Home and Alexa. This makes this product a really good compelling DIY security option that is compatible with multiple different platforms and other manufacturers. Now we're both bring into the UK the smart security kit. Now this includes the Gen 2 gateway along with the door and window sensors, a motion sensor and a key fob. Now the Gen 2 gateway features a 93 decibel siren and the ability to add up to 160 smart devices. Abode also planned to launch a other additional kit which includes a camera. Uh, now this kit includes everything in the starter kit but with the additional camera. If you want to expand your abode kit you can also add additional sensors uh, such as door and window sensors, a glass brake sensor, motion sensors, more cameras, keypads, outdoor sirens, panic buttons and leak sensors. So there's quite a lot to choose from there. Uh, in addition to that the kit does require a plan. Now these plans start at £3. Now looking at the information available for these, they do offer some really good benefits. If you want to subscribe to the plans that give you uh, home monitoring, it gives you various different capabilities. And now when I spoke to Abode this week, they did confirm the IOTA security kit will be coming later in January 2021. And now in terms of HomeKit support, it will work with HomeKit right out of the box. And I did reach out to Abode and ask them a number of questions. First of all, you don't need a plan to get it to work with HomeKit. Now, I'm not sure what features you will get within HomeKit right now without a plan. However, I will be doing a full test when my review unit does arrive. Now, it's also worth pointing out only the Gen 2 above gateway, along with the mini door sensor, the door and window sensor, and the motion sensor work with HomeKit. At the moment, the siren is not exposed to HomeKit, but this is similar to the Netimo siren. I also asked Abode whether they'd be exposing their camera to HomeKit and HomeKit Secure Video. And what they said to me, it is on the roadmap, but they don't have a firm ETA when this will be available. Now, this is certainly an interesting in product and one that a lot of people in the US have enjoyed so far and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on with one and giving it a full test and I will be doing that over the next couple of months because the product doesn't arrive until September then I need at least three weeks to test it and then get the video out so don't forget to subscribe to the channel for when that arrives now the abode unit starts at $2.99 for the starter pack and that includes what I've already mentioned and you also can pick up a starter pack with the camera for $4.18 at the moment until the end of August there's 20% off with the code that's coming on the screen now via the company's website and shipping starts in September. So guys that's the end of the HomeKit show. Hopefully you found it interesting if you have don't forget to like and also share this video for other people to see. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it's greatly appreciated. Also don't forget all the links to everything mentioned in this show is in the description below. Also don't forget to check out our social channels and also don't forget to check out our website and the rest of this channel as there might be some information that is useful to you and it might help you out. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.